Hey there guys, so today we're actually going to insulate and cap the trailer. So I've got myself here some, um, just some pink bat, just some standard pink bat ceiling insulation. And what we're going to do, we're going to fill each section of the trailer with these bats. And then on top of that we're going to cap it with some plywood. So you're obviously going to need yourself some bats. For this trailer here we've got a 7.2 meter trailer, so we've got two packs of these bats here. Um, you're also going to need yourself a nice sharp knife. I've just used a, an old kitchen knife here. It's been sharpened, so it's nice and sharp. It just makes it really easy to cut through this stuff because it's quite thick. Got a respirator because this stuff is, is quite fibrous and it does get in the air and you do breathe it in. It's best to wear a mask like this. It's a, um, a particle type filter, so it'll take all the crap out of the air as you're breathing. And just some gloves, some basic rigorous gloves, just to keep your hands off the material. Stop your hands from itching as you work with it. And um, that's basically it. The trailer has been made with each segment at the right size for this stuff just to slide straight in. Um, so there shouldn't be a lot of cutting, but there will be a few, few bits and pieces where we will have to cut. So it should be pretty straightforward. So with our spacings here, we've done fine up until here. Every spacing in our trailer is about 600 apart. So all this insulation has gone in easy peasy, just gone straight in without any cutting at all. But up until here, the spacings actually get smaller. We had to make them smaller for design reasons. So I'm just gonna show you basically how to cut this stuff. It's very easy. You just need a very sharp knife and it's very straightforward. The way I find easiest is just to place your insulation in against the member. So I pushed it in here, so it's sitting hard up against this member here. And then you just want to get your knife and you want to slide it down. Against, there's a, a member here, and I'm running the knife along that member. Cut it only, you should just be able to pull off the excess like that. And then you just gently pat it down. 
Come out. Done. Hi well, there, guys. Quick update. As you can see, the insulation's all done now. Um, only really took probably an hour to get it in there. Um, it's very straightforward. Um, there's very minimal cutting that we needed to do because we actually designed the trailer with the right spacings in the first place. So um, the only little hiccup we did have was underestimating the amount of insulation we did need because uh, we didn't take into account the fact that we're going to cover the, the wheel arches with insulation as well once the house is actually erected and we put the cabinets in. So I had to go and buy another another bag for that there, that's no big deal. But um, we're ready to go with the capping now. We've got some plywood and um, we're going to be capping the whole top with plywood so let's get into it. Oh there guys, so the insulation's in and now we're ready to cap the trailer with the plywood. So here's our plywood here, we've got 15mm um, thick um, standard sheets of plywood, They're, it's structural ply but it's not marine ply. You can use marine ply but you don't really need to. So we've decided to save a bit of money and we've just gone with standard structural ply. Um, our trailer is 7.2 metres long so we need six sheets because they're 1200 wide and we're going to stack them sideways all the way down. So here's all our sheets here. So to get this job done, to trim the sheets up and put them on, this is what you're going to need. It's very, very basic. Tape measure, obviously, to mark out. Um, you're going to need some earplugs because your saw is pretty loud. Some safety glasses, pretty straightforward. Don't want to get any nasties in your eyes. Um, and you can use a power saw or a circular saw, like this one here, or just a jigsaw. Both will do the job. And I'm also using a square, a sliding square, just to mark out the lines here on the end. Um, so yeah, we're going to get cutting and start laying them out, and we'll give you an update soon. Okay, so we've cut our first sheet of ply to the right size. It's now the right width, and it's the standard, or right length I should say, and the standard width. Um, but as you can see, these studs here, which are going to be used to mount down the walls, are actually in the way. So we're going to have to measure, measure where the holes are going to be. And we're going to drill holes in the plywood and then slot the plywood straight over the top of the studs. So these studs are 100 mil in, in the end. So we want to do the same. We want to measure 100 mil in. We want to put a mark on our plywood. And we want to measure how far in from the side, and 60 mil. I'm going to put a little cross on both sides where these studs are going to be, and then we're going to drill a hole through through the plywood all the way through um, to the right side. Now these studs are 16 mil. It depends on, on what you're using. They're M16s, so we're going to drill a 17.5 mil hole, um, and then once the plywood's sitting over, we're just going to put a bit of silicon around it just to seal it off there. So let's go and mark those and drill those now. So for this bit here guys, you're just going to need a um, any drill, any cordless or a cord drill, um, some safety glasses and obviously your tape measure and pencil to mark out. And um, here we've gone straight, we haven't done a pilot hole which is usually where you do a smaller hole than a larger hole. We're just going straight to the 17.5 which I mentioned previously and um, it should be fine for this plenty of plywood. Okay, so we've marked our, all our spots where we want to drill our holes. Um, 
I've got two drills set up here. You don't need two drills, but it will make it a little bit easier. I've got one set up with a 5mm drill bit in it for the pilot holes. And I've got my second one here set up with the, the bit to, to drive my screws in. So it just saves swapping between drill bit and driver. But um, one will do. show you how we how we screw it down okay so all our holes are, are drilled on our first sheet so we're just going to screw that down now so we just want to change our bit to a suitable bit or grab the other drill whatever you've got down. It's as simple as that. So you're just going to work your way around um, and if you drew the right size hole for the screw you've got then it, it should be a piece of cake. So the key really for um, drill bit size is basically you want the drill bit to be the size of the shaft of the screw but so slightly smaller than the thread just so it gives it enough for this first bit to go in the hole uh, without being too much that the actual thread doesn't grab as it goes in. So for this screw here, this is a 10G screw and we've used a 5mm drill bit which works perfectly. Okay, so our first sheet's down, it's all screwed down, it's nice and firm. Um, so we're going to fix this second sheet now. Now, um, you don't need to do this but we've decided to do it for added strength and um, insulation as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to use this the adhesive sealant we used previously on the uh, wheel arches there. We're gonna use it in here. We're just gonna run a bead along here um, and then butt this piece of plywood in just to create a seal on the join. It doesn't need to be overly big, just enough to create a seal. help prevent any hot air coming in in the summer and any warmth escaping in the winter. Okay, so we've got a nice bead all the way across. Just going to shuffle the sheet into place now. Okay, as you can probably see, maybe or maybe not, there's a bit of sealant squ squirting up here at the top. We'll just get a cloth after and we'll wipe that off, that's not a big problem. 
and this sheet's also bowed, so you might have to clamp this one down on both sides just to hold it down. So we'll clamp it down and then just repeat the same as what we did on the first sheet there. Pilot drill the holes, screw it down and um, the same process for every sheet. Seal the join, pilot holes, screw it down and repeat. So I hope that was helpful guys. Um, if you thought it was helpful, let us know. Leave a comment um, on our YouTube channel or, or send us a message, send us an email. We'd love to hear from you. We love hearing your feedback and what you think. Uh, if there's something you want us to cover in one of these videos, let us know and I'll, um, I'll get onto it. Um, and yeah, like our channel, subscribe to our YouTube channel and, and we'll speak to you next time.